Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Mother's Day. Mother's Day 2020, a day we won't soon forget. We at Falmouth Academy want to bring joy into your rooms. This program, Musical Postcards for Seniors, is brought to you by the students at Falmouth Academy. I'm your host. My name is George Shar, and I have the great honor of being the music teacher of these young students. Well, we have a very special show uh, for you today. Being Mother's Day, we wanted to bring you a treat. We also wanted our student artists to be home with their mothers, and we've given them the day off. So what you're about to see is a special collection of some of the best postcards that we've done at our school. Now, this program that you've been watching now for four weeks is Musical Postcards for Seniors but it is come out of a program that we have at Falmouth Academy called Musical Postcards. And these are students playing for other students for special events during the year, or just to be funny, or just to be emotional. And some of the best of those clips we're gonna share with you right now, including some clips from our previous three shows. I've heard from some of you and you've emailed and you've called and you told me what your favorite clips are. So to that end, I would like to start off today's show with the star from our first musical postcards for senior, Luca McDonald. And Luca McDonald is going to sing for you again, uh, a song that you really loved when she played this for the first time for you four weeks ago. This is Fly Me to the Moon. Now, the short story behind Fly Me to the Moon as with any musical number is always fascinating. Fly Me to the Moon, originally written in 1954 and performed by Kay Ballard, was a hit, but it really became a hit when Old Blue Eyes himself sang it in 1964. Now something else was going on in 1964 that was big, and it was the race to the moon, of course. So Fly Me to the Moon became forever linked with America's race to the moon. Here is Luca McDonald, Fly Me to the Moon. Fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words. Bravo, Luca. Thank you for sharing your version of Fly Me to the Moon with us. For our next artist, we're going to feature a musical postcard that was done at school a couple of years ago with the boys' chorus. 
And here they are singing a medley of songs by the Everly Brothers. Now I bet we all remember the Everly Brothers, but something you may not have known is that they were in fact brothers. Let me see, it was Don and Philip Everly, and they were the sons, uh, born in 1937 and 1939. They were the offspring of the Everly family. Now the Everly family was Ike and Margaret, and they sang as a family in the 40s. The Everly brothers, of course, were country influenced. They each played guitar and they sang in beautiful harmony. And they had one hit after another. In the mid and late 50s, we're all singing their songs. And here is the boys chorus at Falmouth Academy singing a medley of two of their biggest hits. Uh, and those two hits are Bye Bye Love and Dream. Now, Dream was from 1957, and Bye Bye Love was from 1958. Here now is the Falmouth Academy Boys Chorus, Everly Brothers' Dream and Bye Bye Love. you boys chorus from Falmouth Academy. So, you know, I want to give a special shout out to some of our visitors who are watching us today. I know because I'm hearing from, from a lot of you at various places, uh, Royal McGansett, Royal Nursing Home, Atria, uh, Dillingham Place, Cape Cod Apartments, Cape Cod Senior Residences. So a lot of you folks are watching us every Sunday at one o'clock when this premieres. It's on uh, cable TV, on Falmouth FC TV, Falmouth Cable TV, it's on channel 13. It's also available on YouTube, Facebook, uh, and Vimeo, but all of the premieres start at the same time at one o'clock on Sunday. So you can't go on at 12.30 on Sunday to get a preview. It all starts at one o'clock on Sunday. Now, this next postcard is, was just done a couple of weeks ago, and it was done under our remote learning. We have a very talented young boy uh, whose name is Holden Brew. And Holden is from Martha's Vineyard. And you may have noticed that we have a lot of talent from Martha's Vineyard. There must be something in the water. I don't know, we'll have to go over there and, 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 uh, and live. Certainly the lifestyle. And Holden is in the seventh grade. <clears throat> and so good is Holden that he plays in our advanced instrumental ensemble. Holden is a violinist. And he's a serious violinist. So he asked if he could do a postcard a little while ago for our remote learning. So every morning we have announcements on the computer. And he chose National Tartan Day. Tartan as in a Scottish kilt. And his family is Scottish. So he is going to play a Scottish reel for you and talk very briefly about National Tartan Day. Ladies and gentlemen, Holden Brew. 
Today is National Tartan Day, celebrating Scottish heritage. My dad's family is Scots. Here's our crest. I have a tie. I'm going to play the Mason's Apron, a Scottish reel. Thank you, Holden. That was quite some violin playing. Actually, that is a fiddle. It's the same instrument, but when we're playing Scottish music or Irish music or even country music, we refer to that as a fiddle. In the symphony orchestra and the Cape Symphony Orchestra, we have 51 violins of some of the violin family, the bass viol and the viola and the cello. Actually, sometimes out of affectionate, out of affection, we call them fiddles as well. Our next segment coming up is in honor of a special year that we're having here in 2020. Some of you may know that this is the 250th anniversary of the birth of Ludwig van Beethoven. Beethoven was born on December 16th of 1770. And I know for a fact that all of the symphony orchestras and all of the classical organizations had many, many celebrations planned for Beethoven's birth. Arguably one of the most influential classical composers of all time. And he wrote many melodies, many symphonies, and many, many great works for string quartets, for pianos. So I was recently approached by one of our students who wanted to celebrate and commemorate Beethoven's birthday. And I asked this young fellow what he could play. And this is a young boy from Plymouth. And he is also in middle school at Falmouth Academy. His name is Connor Curl. And Connor is going to play for you now a very flashy piece. It's very short, but it's called The Rage Over a Lost Penny. Now the full classical name for it is called the Rondo e Carapriccio. Opus 129, Rondo and Capriccio, Opus 129. Now, Connor will be playing an abridged version for you, but you will recognize this. This is often played at concerts as an encore. It is meant as a flashy showpiece to show off our young pianist's virtuosity. Ladies and gentlemen, Connor Curl. Connor, that was amazing. How do you make your fingers go that fast? That way, that's why that's a showpiece. That, that truly was fantastic. Thank you, Connor, for sending that in. Again, a remote postcard. We have, we have many more things coming up in the fall at school where we're gonna be saluting Beethoven's uh, birthday. Next up, we have very different kind of musical postcard. So we happen to have another two gentlemen that you haven't met yet, although you're gonna meet them subsequently later on this month. Um, one of them is Taryn, and Taryn plays tenor sax, and Taryn lives here in the Falmouth area, and Taryn is a sophomore, I believe, so he would be about 16. He's not with us live today, as I said, but I do have a recording of Taryn. And Taryn is playing with a friend of his, a colleague of his, also in the band, a fellow named James Goldbach. 
And James, you're going to meet in about two weeks where he'll be doing his own show. James is a junior at Falmouth Academy. He plays a multitude of instruments. You're going to hear him today on the saxophone. He also plays piano. And he also plays as a duet with Luca. You remember Luca from the violin and earlier in this show singing Fly Me to the Moon. Well, James took the one of the songs that are going to commemorate this era that we're in right now of uh, Amazing Grace and put a very special spin on it. Now, as a reminder, Amazing Grace, you heard this in a previous show, uh, was written by John Newton in 1772. And John was a theologian and, and a, on, a, on a ship. And the ship off the coast of Ireland, as I recall, was in a very bad raging storm. And he praised, I prayed to the Lord to be uh, rescued from the storm. And he was. And as a result of that, he gave his life back to religion and fully devoted himself and wrote this song. Now, the, of course, Amazing Grace. Now, the rendition you're going to hear is done with four saxophones, two altos, and those are the smaller saxophones, and two tenor saxophones, those are the little bit larger saxophones. But here's the catch. James is gonna be playing both altos, not at the same time, and Taryn is going to be playing both tenors. And what they've done is they've recorded their individual parts, and then they have synchronized them into this block that you're going to see on your screen. James will be at the top playing alto one and alto two, and Taryn will be at the bottom playing tenor one, as in tenor sax, and tenor two. Ladies and gentlemen, James and Taryn, Amazing Grace. James and Taryn, that was truly magnificent. Not only does it show off your musical virtuosity, but your technical acumen. You played those individually all by yourself in your own homes, and then you shipped them over to James' house, and James took the audio and enhanced it to make it sound good by adding reverb, and then he took the video and made that look good by adding color and sharpness and clarity, and then he put them together to give you the final product you just saw. And that's just a sampling of what our spring concert is gonna look like with all of our kids in the music department. We're proud to say we have about 62 kids in our instrumental program at Falmouth Academy and another 17 in the chorus. There's 213 kids in the entire school. It's a grade seven through 12. And it's a country day school. It's an independent school. And it is just a wonderful place to work. Um, Everybody is just very passionate about education, students and teachers alike, and we have a lot of fun. Now, the next piece we're going to play for you is, is, um, is stunningly good, and it's also very emotional. It is very short. It's only about a minute long because it's all I could capture. Now, this is from a live performance done in October of 2018, and featured in this performance are two people that you now know, and that is the goal of this show, of course. Luca McDonald on the violin and James Goldbach, who you just heard on the sax, is going to be playing piano. Now, <clears throat> this was an engagement done for the Downtown Falmouth Economic Development Council, and it was done in the train station in Falmouth. And I believe it was a Friday night, and there were various groups playing at different spots around town. And these young students did two concerts, 
each about 30 minutes long. And people came and listened and just stayed and stayed and stayed. And they didn't go to the next concert. So packed into that little train station when I was taking this, I was in the front row or near the front row. You'll see some people moving around. But there were about 75 people packed into that little train station. And of course, that's turned into a lovely uh, sandwich shop and ice cream place and, and, and hang out. And I take the Peter Pan bus out of there when I go to New York City. It's a wonderful place. It's not open right now, of course, the bus is, but not the, not the food. So this was a, from an excerpt from that concert, October 2018. And the piece they're playing is called Alleluia. Now, this is the Alleluia by Leonard Cohen. And this was written by a Canadian singer, Leonard Cohen. And it really didn't become popular until it was recorded by Jeff Buckley. And that often happens, and you heard me talk about Fly Me to the Moon with Kay Ballard and then Frank Sinatra. So Leonard Cohen is the Canadian songwriter who wrote Alleluia, and Jeff Buckley is the singer who made it famous. You will recognize Leonard Cohen's Alleluia. <laughs> Thank you, Luca and James. That was truly emotional. I was there that night, as I indicated, taking that video, and I only wish I could have captured more for you. But everybody there was truly touched and inspired by that emotional performance. This next performance is no less emotional. It is a performance of a Scottish 19th century ballad. And the ballad is called The Sky Boat Song. And the Skyboat song tells a story of Prince Bonnie Charlie. Bonnie Prince Charlie. And this is the story of how he escaped capture to, to the Isle of Skyle, one of the Scottish Isles. He evaded capture by the government troops. And this song is a beautiful emotional song that's usually written as a waltz. It's played in groups of three, as it is here. And the young women in our Falmouth Academy Girls Chorus sing this all the way through. You will love this from the first note to the last. And of all of the songs you're gonna to hear today, this is probably the one you'll be singing tonight to yourself over dinner or with your friends. So please let me also acknowledge that uh, this is uh, Camden playing uh, the cello accompanying the girls' chorus on the Skyboat Song by Jay Althouse. <laughs> Oh, 
Thank you, ladies from the Falmouth Academy Girls Chorus. That was, a, that was an inspirational performance. Folks at home, this is the song that you will likely be singing to, to yourself over dinner and with your dinner uh, companions. I do hope you get out to go to the dining room. I, I know that that's not always the case in this uh, pandemic situation, which is why we're here. Ladies and gentlemen, in the week that's gone past since our last show, I've heard from several of you that you would like to hear more from Matthew Coggins. Matthew Coggins, you will remember, is a freshman, ninth grade, age 14, during this recording that you'll see. But as of this airing, aged 15, his birthday just went by. And Matthew is that tall, six foot one basketball player and pianist from Martha's Vineyard. And we want to play his closing segment, one of his favorite songs. And we're going to go out with this until we see you next week at one o'clock. We have another superstar student for you to meet next week. And we will be with you through the end of May and into early June. And then with any luck, we'll start this up again in September. And hopefully by then you won't need it. You'll be able to be free and be able to roam about. But in the meantime, this is George Shah. And for Isabel Hurd in tech, and Marcus Greco, who helps with the editing, and Mrs. Borden, and Mrs. Galvin, and Charles Jodwin, and all of our student artists, we wish you a happy Mother's Day.